Hi guys, Obsidian and Joplin are two services to take notes, but which one should you be using? Joplin is an offline note taking app that helps writers to pin down their thoughts, feelings, important reminders into the lists. The free app is offline, but you can use cloud storage devices like Google Drive and Dropbox to sync between devices. Joplin offers a Joplin Cloud subscription that enables the cloud feature to sync without needing any cloud storage program. Obsidian is a note-taking, brainstorming, and knowledge-based app. It can be considered your second brain. It helps you link notes and create knowledge graphs to generate new angles to your thoughts and ideas. Like Joplin, Obsidian is offline, so you must carry your files from one location to another if you are working on multiple devices. The main differences between Joplin and Obsidian is that Obsidian has easy access to notes as flat files and more plugins, and thus Joplin has better import export tools, better web clipping, and more decent metadata for each node, including geolocation data and source URL, better node management for searching, moving, and deleting nodes. For the node taking options, along with text formats, bot supports Markdown language. Bot applications are Markdown knowledge base, and they have full Markdown support. So comparing these two in this category is a bit difficult unless you really dive deep into the, the differences in their Markdown support. Using Markdown, you can convert plain text to rich text using keyboard symbols and Markdown guides. Although the basic idea is the same, you can check out the language guide on Joplin and Obsidian websites. Obsidian truly relies on Markdown format, so we don't have any special editing tools. On the other hand, Joplin offers the following tools for editing, headings and subheadings, bold, underline and italic, block quotes and code block, attach file, insert link, table, etc. And for the user interface, both Obsidian and Joplin has distinctive styles. Bots are easy to use. For the platforms, Joplin and Obsidian are available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android and iOS devices. You can download them directly from the official websites or through app stores. Joplin comes with a Web Clipper extension for both Google Chrome and Firefox browsers. It will allow you to clip web pages and take screenshots while you are browsing the internet. Obsidian does also have Web Clipper that is available on the Chrome Web Store. Just search for the Obsidian Clipper and add it to your browser. However, if you see something useful online, you simply just select the tool, click copy, and they paste this into Obsidian. Obsidian will convert it to Markdown language automatically. And for the templates, like some other sections, both follow the same nature in terms of templates. Neither have any templates, but you can create templates from your notes. Joplin supports installing a free plugin. The plugin then lets you create templates. The plugin page on the GitHub website guides on creating templates. Obsidian also offers a plugin, but the job can be done without a plugin. One must go to settings from your notes. A nice guide is available on the Suite Setup website. Now for the security, Joplin and Obsidian both offer end-to-end -end encryption. End-to-end -end encryption is a system where only the owners of the data can read it. It prevents potential eardroppers including telecom providers, internet providers, and even the developers of Joplin from being able to access your data. Now, Obsidian offers managed encryption, which means you will never have to remember another password. Obsidian will manage the encryption password for you. While Obsidian stores the encryption password on their servers, they only use it to offer a more convenient way to manage your vaults. Obsidian states that they will never access your vaults without your explicit consent. For the collaboration features, Joplin's free version doesn't offer collaboration and sharing of nodes. Like Sanken, users can use cloud storage platforms to collaborate, but still, that won't be real-time. Like Joplin, Obsidian does not support collaboration. You can subscribe to the Sync plan for $8 per month, which allows syncing between devices, but that's about it. And for the plugins, both applications support plugins. Joplin has a good handful of plugins that you can take a look at.
and some of those even solved some of the issues I mentioned earlier on about, like the templates. Joplin also has a pretty good API for developers to create plugins. It just feels like the number of plugins for Joplin is limited and not as many people are taking the time to create plugins. Obsidian has a ton of plugins, it seems they have a vibrant community that is developing some amazing functional plugins like the Obsidian Git plugin. This allows you to push your notes and change to GitHub along with all your settings. This is great for when you switch from Linux to Windows, etc. You can issue one comment and get all your notes. For the note exporting options, Joplin allows the export of notes and notebooks in different formats. Here is the list of supported formats. Joplin export file, Joplin export directory, markdown, markdown plus front matter, HTML directory, and PDF file. Obsidian, on the other hand, only supports exporting to PDF files. For the pricing, Joplin does not limit the editing tools. You can use the app as long as you like. The Joplin Cloud has a few options. The basic subscription costs two euros monthly or 18 euros per year, which offers a 10 megabytes attachment limit, one gigabyte cloud storage and unlimited device syncing. The pro subscription has a couple of extra options, a 200 megabytes upload limit and 20 gigabytes cloud storage. The main option is the collaboration with other Joplin users. You pay 6 euros per month or 58 euros per year. The team plan costs 8 euros per creator per month and 8 euros per year. And along with extra storage limits, you get features to manage multiple users. Obsidian comes with 3 pit plans. The personal plan is free and requires no accounts or sign up. You can access plugins, API, and community support. The Catalyst plan is one-time payment of $25. It includes early access to insider belts, special badges, and access to an exclusive dev channel. The commercial plan is for $50 per user per year, supporting commercial rights and priority support. Obsidian, as mentioned, also has a sync plan costing $8 per month allowing you to sync between devices. So choosing between Joplin versus Obsidian depends on your business and your needs. Both apps are great for note taking and offer end encryption which other apps do not offer. Both apps are easy to use. If you are familiar with the markdown language then you can use either app. However, if you want to use rich formatting then you need to use the Joplin app. You can test the mouse for free to see which one you like better. And remember, it may take multiple apps to meet your needs. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out and bye bye.